get set, go! Today we're going to learn how to tack up our horses faster. Hi everyone, it's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome! If you want to make the most of the time that you have with your horse, consider subscribing to my channel. Just click the bell notification down below and then you won't miss any of my videos. So tacking up fast doesn't necessarily mean what you might think I might mean by tacking up faster. I don't want you to tack up so fast that you're unsafe. But by tacking up faster, what I mean is having all of your gear and all of your equipment in one place at one time when you're tacking up your horse. Then you're not running around like a crazy person trying to find all of your equipment. So have your saddle, your bridle, your girth, your boots, everything that you're going to need to ride your horse, have everything readily accessible so you can do it quicker. And for me putting this bridle on, Ethan, this was the first time I had ever used this bridle. So I wasn't really sure of how to do it 100%. So it did take me a few extra minutes because of the new bridle. This is a Rambo Micklem bridle. But once I have him tacked up, all I have to do is put my boots on, my helmet on, and we're ready to ride. So once I get out to my riding area, then I just tighten up my girth, let my stirrups down, pat my horse, make sure that he's gonna stand still for me, and then climb up on him. And I don't think you can see it in this video, but like I said, this was the very first time I had ever used this bitless bridle on Ethan. And he was just incredible. But we just did a lot of walking because I wasn't quite sure how he was going to react to not having a bit in his mouth. Okay, so that was Ethan's very first time ever in the Micklem Bridle, and I am so impressed with his bridle. He didn't toss his head, he didn't fight with me, he listened to what I asked him to do. After he got the gist of it, stopping wasn't a big deal. This is just a fantastic bridle, and since I actually finally used it on Ethan, I don't think I'll ever put another bit in his mouth because he was just a different horse. And now I'm done riding him, so now it's time to untack him. And the untacking is just as important as the tacking up. You wanna do this quickly as well, and you can do that by just taking everything off and then grooming your horse. And once your horse is groomed, then you can start putting stuff away. It's important to make sure that you put everything away in its place so it will be ready to go the next time you're ready to ride. I also think it's a good idea to clean your tack before you put it away. Thank you. 
and don't forget to clean your boots too. By having everything clean and put away right where it's supposed to go means that it will be ready for you the next time you come out to ride your horse, which should help you to get your horse groomed and tacked up faster than if you had to go hunting for everything. And then after I got him all groomed and pretty, as soon as his buddy came out, then it's time to go and make a mess. Or play. He hasn't rolled yet, so I'm shocked. And I think he's going to right now. Yep. This is why I groom daily. And once you've completed day five of our Being a Better Rider Challenge, don't forget to cross it off on your calendar. Thanks so much for watching my video today. And until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.